I kind of like, a, you know, my dream was always to be a professional surfer, and but you know, I ended up just working in the surf industry and surf shops. You know, in that, I think working in the surf industry was a really good stepping stone for me. Um, we worked very seasonal, so we worked. Um, we had two months off, sometimes three months off every every winter, like January, February, March. Um, often travelled, well, travelled every, every winter, but often travelled to places with big waves. That's you know, travel, those travelling experiences really sort of um, lit up my imagination. But I never thought it would be a job, you know, like I almost sort of gave up on that professional surfing dream in mid-twenties and sort of turned my back on, on the surf industry and sort of went into construction and um, just to try and make, you know, make some money. And then, yeah, and then but along came sort of you know the Nazare scene, and it just, it just, you know, put, put me. I just, yeah, it made me think. Yeah, you know, a lot was, you know, possible. And I think it's just the right time, right place. the dream but now now it begins you know now you actually got to work which I don't think the people don't really understand or I don't think the videos or the photos sometimes do those risks justice at some point you you, you become like oh, this is too much and I and I don't know like it just, just, just something just motivates me and draws me to that. Like, really feeling yourself, like you know, thinking that you can't go anymore, or you know, you're pushing yourself to the max, and then, then, then trying to push it a little bit more. Yeah, I just kind of like love, love that feeling of like, like getting comfortable with the uncomfortable. One of my biggest goals is always like, you know, to like win an XXL award or, you know, the biggest wave sort of stuff. And, you know, there, there definitely has been a few years where, where you put everything in and you feel like you've done everything you possibly humanly could, and you feel like the decisions don't go your way. And then, you, then the next year you punish yourself for that, you know, like and just like getting on like it is what it is, like you know, just got to enjoy it. At 25 or you know, 30, like you, you sort of think, uh, you, know, you can't get any better or you can't get any fitter, and, and you know, s still, 15 years later, I still feel like I, like I am getting better and I am getting a little bit fitter and I am, I don't know, like. So I kind of just, you know, it's just like a train you can't get off it. I do feel like it's like a roller coaster or like, you know, just. Get off, it's like you'll keep going, you know.
I still like you know my vision like I'd still just bottom turning on like the biggest glaciers waves imaginable and that's my vision and that's like those like that for me is like going Mach 10 and just like putting it on a, on a rail and getting super low and driving off the bottom and going fast like on the biggest waves that's like I can live off that feeling for a long time now and um and if that's you know when I'm 90 or whatever ever I'll get like if that's one story that I could tell my grandkids or whoever will listen to me <laughs> wherever I am it'd be like yeah you know like I'm did the sickest bottom turn on like the biggest wave ever, uh, you know, in Ireland or Nazare or in Cortez Bank or you know, like whatever, you know, like that's I I dream about that.